God's great ambition for his church and for his people is that we might become more like Jesus, his son. The New Testament is full of encouragement to be conformed to the image of God's son, to grow up in every way into Christ or, or graphically at that clothing ourselves. You know, Paul says, clothe yourselves with Christ. In other words, change day by day, year by year to be more like him. And at St. Leonard's and St. Peter's, we spent time at the beginning of the year thinking about being with Jesus in prayer. And over Lent, we've been thinking about becoming like Jesus. You know, it says the church increasingly becomes like Jesus, changed from one degree of glory to another, that she will be a light and she will be salt. And she will be a star shining like stars in the universe. This is the principal mission strategy of God, it seems. The world is transformed as his people are transformed. It's also the preoccupation of the New Testament teaching, the application, as it were, to learning about Jesus. And also becoming like Jesus is the linchpin uh, Peter, in his second letter, says it's the key in all the various ministries of the church and our lives to effectiveness and fruitfulness. So it's pretty important. If we want our lives and our churches uh, to be effective and fruitful, well, we will ensure that putting on the character of Christ is at the heart of every strategy, it's in our conversations, and there are programs or advice or pathways that are clear to help one another make progress in this. And there are significant barriers to be traversed and removed before real progress can be made. And the first barrier is, well, what is Jesus actually like? apart from being vaguely nice. Uh, um, and that's not particularly good description as it is. So what is Jesus like? So this Holy Week, I've set myself the task of addressing my ignorance of Christ, his likeness, in one particular area, and that is his death. Paul writes in Philippians, in his pursuit of Christ, that he desires to become like Christ in his death that by any means possible, he may attain the resurrection from the dead. So the question must be asked, what does it look like to become like Jesus in his death? So I invite you to join me uh, in a short reflection each day as we look into the Garden of Gethsemane, into the arrest of Jesus, into his trial, uh, and then we'll flip back to the upper room on Maundy Thursday, and then Good Friday, we'll look at the cross itself, and then on Holy Saturday, the grave. What is it we will think about together to become like Jesus in his death so that we can celebrate and share his resurrection on Easter morning and in the age to come?